Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to replant some cuttings from the striped wax plant in Teleka. Uh, the plant is also known as Hoya Kutsi, um, or Kutsii, but well, we got all these wonderful cuttings and we have some locations uh, that are that we have um, on the hanging on the wall in our both our hallway and our bathroom our bedroom that we want to put the put the plant and have it cascade down so with that are you ready let's grow Before I start, I want to thank our film producer, Diego, who behind the scenes is making all of this happen. Um, but um, so here we go. Here we go. This this is um, a cutting of the striped wax plant I have over here. And what I also wanted to show you is that how similar it is in character to the string of hearts, the regular and the variegated that we have here very, very similar looking plants. Um, the Hoya is a little bit more robust, but I'll tell you, we've just, we just got this one about three weeks ago and it's already got quite a bit of growth. And this cute little baby, this little variegated one is in high demand. Everyone's going crazy trying to get this. And we're gonna try to, we're gonna obviously grow this one up and put this in a hanging basket down the road. But for today, I just wanted to show you that, that when you're checking plants, how similar these are. The, the Hoya is more available right now and, and um, the, the striped wax plant, which is, which is this plant here that we're gonna get all these cuttings from. Um, but uh, they're, both, they're both beautiful. They both cascade, but very, very similar looking. Not, not the variegated. The variegated is just totally unique because it's variegated and, and you can see the more pronounced heart shape. So, all right, we're just gonna get to it. So, I'm gonna move these guys out of the way. Our first step is to take some cuttings of the striped wax plant. I cut out a node here so that if there is one, that this one will just continue to grow. But we're gonna go all the way around the plant and just get, get as long of a cutting as we can because we want it to cascade right away um, and in the, new, in the new container. So we're just gonna keep Going around, cutting these guys. I'm gonna leave these little guys there. Get some of these. Oh, that one underneath. Cut this one here. Cut this little guy here. So, just get a little bit of haircut, just a little haircut, and this will just one will just continue to keep growing, and we're gonna now switch over to planting them in Lekka. So we have these containers; you can get them online. These are cool because it's got a lot of openings and stuff, which is what plants want for Lekka, and then it has a uh, reservoir piece, and this is the part we're gonna mount to the wall in the hallway and then in the other and in our bedroom. Uh, this reservoir is kind of high from the bottom of the, 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 the container, so we're going to actually use LECA over here to fill up some of the base. So when we fill that with water, it displaces some of the water. Uh, in most grow containers, it's a little bit closer. It's a little bit 
um, if you look at this comparison, that's how most containers are. This one sets a little bit higher, so there's a lot more area between where the LECA touches the water. So we're going to fill this up with more water than we normally do, uh, but we don't want it to be too heavy on the walls, so that's why we're putting a, a little bit of LECA in the reservoir. Most times when you're doing pots and LECA, you just have the LECA here and water only down here. Well, we're going to add some water, uh, LECA and water together here to, to do what uh, is needed to, to get the water in there. So we're just going to put in a little big scoop. Let's see. A little bit more. So like it's lightweight, it's not too much. And then we're just going to fill this sucker up with water. Set this guy in there. Add some more Lekka in here. Now we don't have to do a third like we normally do when we're doing it because we have so much, so much of the uh, Lekka below. We're just going to do like a like an eighth of Lekka here. And now I'm going to switch over, switch back to the cuttings and cut off a lot of the leaves that are that are um, here so that we can just have the roots going into the Lekka. I'll just do a few of these. see we've clipped all the little leaves off of the the uh, cuttings that we took from the from the mother plant uh, we separate them in large and small cuttings I think this but by the way I just think this is the coolest little pattern this makes I think that's really cool just a sidebar um, by the way these little bonsai shears excellent for doing this fine trimming you need to do because we have to cut the little leaf or leaflets and you gotta be careful not to cut the, the roots. And you can see these are just covered in, covered in roots, ready to go. So with that, we're just gonna get to it. Let me move this aside. So here's what we filled up before. We put the LECA, we're just gonna continue to keep adding LECA. This is about right, let's see. So what you wanna do is put the longer ones towards the outside. Um, of the LECA, the longer cutting, so you have more of a dramatic effect. And then the shorter cuttings will keep in the center of the LECA. Oops. Let's stick him in there. We'll just, oh. this is, he is not being nice. Stubborn, this one. I'm gonna keep them up here for now so that, until I get more Lekka. <laughs> okay, so, we are looking very persnickety. Add some Lekka now here to hold these guys in. Pearl, cascade, but we're not done. We still have a few more to go. I'm gonna add one more here and then we're gonna go to the next pot. But we're also gonna add a few little guys. I'm gonna put, gonna put some here on the inside and so they'll fill out, they'll fill out the, the container. And This one it doesn't really matter which way it goes with. This is the one we trimmed. It's so wild. This is a wild one. He wants to go both up and down. There we go. So now, I'll just add. First, up. The 
pra cá. Voila, everybody. Look at that. Happy, happy. All right, now we're just gonna repeat this for the next one. And there we have it. We have two new striped wax plants from one mother plant ready to go. And uh, before we go, I wanted to stress that LECA is really, really cool growing medium. Uh, you may see a lot of people using it now. We, do, we have a hybrid uh, set up here in our home. Um, but LECA, you know, is soilless, so there's no... Um, no fungus gnats. Um, you can get an indoor potting mix for your plants if you want to do traditional soil, and that's a really good mix because it doesn't. Uh, it typically, uh, makes it harder for fungus gnats to to lay their eggs because it doesn't have the the um, organic material that they s specifically want to use. Uh, but for those that like LECA, and we we are becoming pretty big fans of it. Um, it's a it's a really lightweight material overall. Uh, compared to soil, especially when soil is wet, and you can also, you know, pull it up when it starts to grow through and check on the root structure. When you typically can't do that in soil, and you know, LECA is, you know, what they call, you know, semi hydroponic. Uh, it's a little bit of, you know, soil and roots. I mean, roots outside of uh, a water growing medium, but the LECA is really cool that it, you know, it's the way it, it sucks water up through through these tiny little pores inside. So um, what we'll do next is we're just gonna go hang them up and take a quick video of that. So this is location one that we talked about earlier where we had the other plant, the pepper Romeo. And there you have it. Nice. Let's go to the other one. All right, so here's the second location in our master bedroom. Voila. So we'd like to thank you for joining us and until next time, thank au revoir. You. We wanna thank you again for joining us. And if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to our channel and let your friends and family know too.